hello guys and dolls. Um, excuse the hair, this is only my natural hair. I actually like it. Um, I know it looks like I just didn't brush it, but yeah, I'm just leaving it natural because I'm going off to a play that my cousin is performing in. It's Pride and Prejudice and he's going to be Mr. Darcy. But anyway, I'm recording this video because it's been like requested a billion jillion fifillion times and that is another Food Diary Friday video. In this one I wanted to give a bit more structure to it so I kind of explain how I structure my meals having gotten over eating issues and like disordered eating patterns and habits that kept with me for years. Now I eat intuitively and I eat a lot so like I watch these Food Diary videos a lot right and lots of the girls that I follow like really closely they upload food diaries and they eat like so much less than I do and I just kind of want to show that there's a lot of variety in this kind of thing and different people have different needs so I always eat to the point that I'm satisfied and I don't want to I'm not thinking about food anymore so I'll eat until like the urges for food is gone and I do try and focus on like having whole foods and all food groups in all my meals my kind of basic diet food rules is to try and get in my five fruit and veg a day and for every meal to be balanced so in every meal I want to have protein healthy fat and carbohydrates every meal. So an example of a very typical breakfast for me is, so first I would get some extra virgin olive oil, I'd pour this into a little egg pan, uh, always extra virgin olive oil, and then I would take a free range egg, one of the corn fed ones, cause I'm super against factory farming, as everyone should be, like boycott it completely, and like your mommy telling you off. But yeah, so I'd crack one of those into the pan and I'd fry that sunny side up and then I'd kind of just like fry the other side as well a little bit. I'll usually get some kind of bread then. I prefer fresh bakery bread and I'll toast it. Today I have these ones here. They are like slimbos and I don't know they're like protein bread with lots of fiber in. So just get one of those, toast that a little bit. Then I'll lay out all my stuff onto a plate. So I'll put the egg onto one side. I'll butter both pieces of the toast with like proper Irish butter. My friend has a nutrition degree and he told me that butter is fine and is good for you so I trust him he knows the science yeah I'll also have some fruit most mornings this morning I have strawberries because right now strawberries are really ripe and sweet they're gorgeous and in Ireland you can go and like pick your own strawberries as well it's so cool with that I'll usually have a big pint of water so I'll drink like the water first and a fresh pressed juice so those of you who follow my vlogmas vlogs will know that my family and I got a juicer and usually we'll just put in you know apples carrots beetroot cucumber, lime, just a bunch of random things in the house and I'll just glug that back. Um, I often have one coffee every day and I like making a little mocha with some dairy-free chocolate milk, so just a little coffee just perks me up. And yeah, then I'm just satisfied all morning and full of nutrients. I usually then go for a walk after doing a bit of work, so I'll do like emails and things in the morning, go for a long walk by the beach, um, maybe stroll into the library or something like that for a little bit of a read. And oftentimes I eat out at lunchtime with friends or family members so this is like something I'd order a kale and chia seed smoothie which is kind of gross but good for you as well and then also a soup and sandwich salad kind of dealio this is an almond and coriander soup and it was really yummy and the toasty was on brown batch bread and it had ham and cheese on it then also just a normal regular salad with leaves and tomatoes and onions and some balsamic glaze and then I love like dipping the toasty into the soup and like oh it's just so so gorgeous <laughs> is that a weird thing to do I know my friend used to dip her toasties into her mum's tea when she was a kid that's that's weird no that's weird I then fancied a little teeny tiny taste of a lemon meringue pie so my brother and I got one small one to share and it was yummy I will usually get peckish in the afternoon and I'll usually grab something like a naked bar which has like dates and nuts in it so it's quite balanced and I'll have like a fresh smoothie or a juice or something like that just because I, I don't like having fizzy drinks and I know that like juices aren't that great but because there's vegetables in these I just justify it and I have them anyway. They're really refreshing too, it's just really nice to have something like that um, with a snack. Dinner wise, I do eat out a lot but I love home cooking so so much and this is an example of a family meal so going by the rules earlier again we'll have like all parts of food groups and stuff for the plate i bought some meatballs from the local butchers and then for frying them in i have extra virgin like coconut oil and i got this tip from my friend riyadh where you basically seal 
the meatballs in really hot oil and then you turn the pan down to let them cook really slowly so that it retains the moisture in the middle and the meat is like really delicious. Um, I think I'm going to use this tip on all meats from now on anytime I'm cooking. So yeah, for the meatballs I just got a jar of Jamie Oliver chili tomato sauce because I was too lazy to cook a sauce. I usually would, oftentimes I like making them from scratch but you know, a jar of sauce isn't going to kill you. For the carb element of the dinner we got sweet potato fries, chips, these are like pre-made ones which is super lazy, you can make them easily yourself but I like the fact that these go very crispy when you bake them in the oven and then for the vegetable portion I roasted some red bell pepper, red onion and green beans and put olive oil on top and like just seasoning like herbs, basil, that kind of stuff. Then like let the meatballs simmer in the sauce and everything was then ready at the same time and it was so so gorgeous. Usually after dinner I'll have some kind of after dinner tea or a herbal tea. This day I had like a mint one and then a few hours later watching something so like Game of Thrones we're watching Game of Thrones reruns right now because the new series is coming out soon and I'm so excited um dessert I have to have dessert every day and I know I eat a lot like I know I eat several times a day but I just get hungry what can I say <laughs> red wine and dark chocolate are my favorites to have and I really like raw chocolate so this is a local raw chocolate brand and it's kind of an orange flavor that's really really nice and it just kills any cravings that you might have and red wine like one glass of red wine a day has actually been shown to be good for you so yeah I like having my little indulgences and treats and that's kind of like the quantity I'd have um let me know down below what you ate today or yesterday I just want to know some like meal ideas so I can try new things and thumbs the video up if you want this to be weekly because I'll dedicate to it weekly if there's enough interest I always feel like there's just a bunch of people who like these and not all my subscribers watch them but yeah I love videos like this and thanks for watching my loves and I'll see you again in my next video bye